Hello. Hello, hello everyone. I'm starting the stream. Uh, <laughs> nice to see you, Alex. Hope you're having a good day. So today we are going to continue working on this plugin. Uh, this is a very simple utility. Uh, it allows you it allows you to turn any rectangle into a frame and also put some contents inside of it. Uh, so today we need to do a couple of things. First is um, do this for multiple rectangles. Like if we select several rectangles we can uh, turn them all into frames. I'm not actually sure where uh, this is gonna be useful but I don't know, it could be useful. It's pretty easy to implement, so I'm gonna do it. Also, we are not going to do this, so we are not going to automatically find contents and uh, apply them to the frame, uh, like add them to the frame automatically. We can just select things and they will be added. Uh, and this is not uh, this is pretty complicated so I will not be adding this right now but uh, and it's easy to do with the uh, just selection so for example here let me demonstrate this we have a wonderful de demo here <laughs> so I have a rectangle and I have some text over it I just select both of them and I go to plugins, development, rectangle to frame. And it should, yeah, it, it worked. It basically puts the selected text into the frame. Great. So we are not going to need this. And we, I will also probably do today uh, is rename, rename the uh, rectangle to frame. So, for example, if it has uh, if it has a rectangle in its name, I will simply replace the word rectangle with the word frame. That's it, I think. <laughs> we are good to go. Uh, let's start with the multiple rectangles thing. So, how it's going to work? If we simply have a bunch of rectangles, oops, it's not a rectangle, here. If I have several rectangles and they can be different, all different rectangles, I can just select them all and turn them into frames. They will be separate frames on the canvas, just like normal. Let's do this. So here we have some code. Um, it probably needs some comments. Yeah, let's add some comments to our code. First of all, to this function. This function uh, copies all properties from rectangle to frame. Great! Now, what we have here? Uh, here we have a comment. Yeah, I think maybe this needs a comment. In this thing we add everything except the rectangle into an array. Also we can check if everything is a rectangle. Uh, so here for, oh no, we have uh, let all, I'll put it here actually.
all are rectangles, uh, which means all objects are rectangles. I'll type true and if at least one object is a rectangle, is not a rectangle, I'm sorry, then this is false. This should be false. So here we should just type all our rectangles equals false. But here if rectangle type is not equal to rectangle and if selection type is a rectangle. Hmm. So it should put one object inside. Hmm, I'm not sure. We should try something here. <laughs> so this checks everything that's all right. Now I'll probably wrap this in a separate function here. Uh, function create frame and I will pass a rectangle to this function. But first I will just remove this bracket and do this, I think. And then I will move this large method outside, outside of this function, somewhere here. Oops. Yeah, and we need a bit of a bit of something, a bit of cleaning. <laughs> uh, just reindent all lines. I think it should work. No, it broke something. Wait, it shouldn't break anything. Let me zoom out and take a closer look at this. <laughs> uh, how are you all doing today? Uh, have you seen the yesterday stream? So I have this function create frame. Okay, I'll just copy it outside for now. Oops. Yeah, so this should probably work. Let me try. <laughs> it's kind of hard to code on a stream like this and also explain everything as I go. Oops. Oh, I have an extension here installed. It did something. It formatted my code. <laughs> Fantastic! Now it should be a bit better, I think. Now we don't have a frame here, so how can we do this? How can we fix this? I'll probably just use output. No. Hmm, that's a complicated question. <laughs> All right, let's add some code here first. If everything is a rectangle, if every object selected is a rectangle, then we will process all objects in the selection. Otherwise, we will only process one rectangle. Does that make sense? I think it does. All are rectangles. If all objects are rectangles, then we process all of them. So I'll copy the loop. I'll just need, need this, I think. Yeah. And now we can process all objects, right? Hmm. Hmm. 
No, I don't know. So how can we do this? We need to create frame for every rectangle. Let frame equals create frame. Uh, selection I. And then we should remove the rectangle, right? It's removed here, I think, somewhere. Yeah, here it's removed. So what is wrecked here? This is wrecked. Okay, now all properties should be here. Uh, not all, actually. New selection is missing. New selection is... What is new selection? I'd say children. But I probably don't need that. No, all right, all right, we will do this. We will do this. Copy properties and children. So this, and uh, then we just pass the empty array here, for now, at least. And then frame, let's do it here. No, let's move this line here and then let's create an array of frames to add them to selection later let frames equals this and I'll, I will not create a variable I will just do frames dot push and push all my the new created frame here and then I will do this frames nice else if not all objects are rectangles then we will need to do something different we will do create frame uh, and this frame is from the rectangle right we created from the rectangle here we have rect object, all right, and then we have children, N new selection, I think it was. I don't need this line anymore, I don't need this line anymore, I don't need any console logs here, it's not necessary. We already tested the plugin quite well. <laughs> So it works. It's fine. If all are rectangles, then we create a frames array. We push the new frame into the array, and then the current page selection is uh, assigned to this array. And the rectangles are deleted here in this method here. But we also need to return the created frame. We will do it now. Return frame. Cool. Let's check it. Does it work? No, new selection is not defined. OK. As you can see, new selection is not defined. Where is it? I don't know the line. Somewhere here. <laughs> I think new selection is not defined. Yes, of course, it's not defined. It's children now. Nice. Now this should work, I think. Fixed a little issue. No, can't get absolute transform. Let's try again. Node doesn't exist. All right. So here it can't get absolute transform because node doesn't exist. Uh, why? doesn't it exist? I'm not sure. It shouldn't even pass anything here. It should be an empty array. Create frame. Selection and this. So it should be empty. Why is it even doing this? 
All right. Let's try to add this as a separate thing. Let's try to add this here for now. And children, I will rename them to new selection back. <laughs> I will remove this and this and this. Cool. Let's check. Does it work? No, still it breaks. Why? I think it doesn't know that all are rectangles. But why? Not all are rectangles. Console, no, here. I'll need to do this. Oh yeah, I know why it's not, it's not working. I will need to just add another condition. I'll add it in the end. If right uh, no cell I the type is, is not a rectangle, then we do this on re all rectangles is false. Okay, it it added all the things, all the semicolons. The script. All right, let's do. Let's use semicolons then, I guess. <laughs> I don't know where I configured it to use semicolons. That's fine. It will work. Yeah, it does work. It's it's actually pretty cool, <laughs> if you ask me. Let's check it here. No, frame is not defined. Something is broken again. Create frame. Oh, yeah, of course. Let frame equal this. Now, let's check it again. Select rectangle and text. And it's working. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Now, I don't know what kind of testing I can do. I guess I can change the colors a bit and do this and maybe add the gradient here I haven't tested it with the gradient but it should work fine so now it should turn all of this into frames and it did it did it instantly which is beautiful <laughs> so I'd say this is working so I'll add the cross here now we need to rename the rectangle. I'll add the strike through here. What's the shortcut for that? No, 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 no. Option, no. Control Command X, no. I'll be searching for this shortcut forever. And will not find it. Where's the shortcut? Is there no shortcut for this? Okay. <laughs> So now, now this is an interesting part here. Uh, we are going to work with regular expressions. And we will create a regular expression to rename the rectangle. I mean, not exactly a regular expression, but we will create a function to rename the rectangle to a frame. Let's go. Function. Change name. No. What? What's the... Oh, rename. Of course. Rect. No, first is going to be frame. And then rect. So we should check if rect has rectangle in its name. How are we going to do this? Um, and we need to also match this string and somehow turn it into um, into a frame, into the word frame. 
which is kind of tricky if you ask me. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's try. Let's try to write something here. Rect dot replace no frame name let name equal frame that name actually rect that name and we will just turn it into something else and apply it to the frame good good plan now name what do we have to do to name probably replace replace what we can just write some text here I guess rectangle and then we replace it with a frame and then we set this name to frame also maybe it could have a lowercase version so I will also do this I guess that's it is that it? we should check this definitely <laughs> um, so rename oops so first is going to be target then it's going to be source let's save it and let's try it with these rectangles here. Still a rectangle. Hmm. Interesting. Did the replace function work at least? No, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's check again. Name. Oh, I see, I see. I forgot one thing. I need to do this. Because replace function returns a new string. I guess I think let's test it now oh wow it worked what seriously and it saved the numbers as you can see it's a very simple function so with what we do here is we just save the rectangle name into a variable called name it's a string then we replace the name uh, the, the rectangle part in this string with the word frame. If it doesn't contain the rectangle part, it's just gonna do nothing here. And we do the same for the rectangle word uh, with, with the lowercase r, and we replace it with the lowercase f uh, frame. And then we just set the frame name to the name we just created where we replaced frame with the uh, we replaced rectangle with the frame beautiful look at this now let's rename it to small thing and this one will be oops i'm sorry i pressed the wrong button <laughs> um so this should be what this should be frame rectangle or something like this and it will be called frame frame after this <laughs> let's check it out yeah it works saves the numbers and everything that was easy all right so now we need to finish this off with the template we created this beautiful logo yesterday together with with Alessia and uh, we I, I worked on the preview a little bit I'm not sure if it's good or not I think it's good if you want you can join the file right now and you can design with me <laughs> uh, yeah I'll duplicate this frame and maybe we can figure something out to make it a bit better to understand. 
So the key idea here is that sometimes you create a frame. I'll actually be typing this somewhere. I'll type it here. Sometimes you create create a frame. Thank you, Alessia. I'm, I'm glad that you like the preview. Uh, I think it works, but maybe we can explain the concept a bit better. I'm not sure. If you have any ideas, you can jump in the Figma file and just do it here. Do the <laughs> thing. Uh, make it beautiful. I don't know. Sometimes you create a frame. A rectangle as a background for something and then you want contents on top to items on top to be uh, like constrained by this background, right? To be in this background. And then you place place some items on top. and wish you created a frame in the first place. Yeah, so the idea is like this. Sometimes you create a frame as a background for something and then you place some items on top and wish you created a frame in the first place. Uh, this plugin allows you to easily fix this fix this mistake select a rectangle then select the contents you want to place inside of a frame place in the frame and run the plane it works like auto layout creation but without outer layout. So, yeah. Hey, Alex, uh, I'm glad that you're jumping in the file and helping with the design. I'm curious to see what you'll create uh, while I'm writing the description for the plugin. <laughs> I can actually go ahead and I'll also test it a little bit more. Let's see where it breaks. Don't show this stream to Josh, by the way. He will not accept it <laughs> if I break something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, so this works fine. this works fine as well. This works too. What if I flip the rectangle? It's gonna be super broken. Oh yeah, it is. It is very broken. <laughs> if I disable clip content, okay. So it also flipped everything. All right, all right. I don't know what, uh, how to fix that, so I'm not going to do that.
So yeah, I think this is a good description for now. It works like auto layout creation, but without auto layout. <laughs> Something interesting is going on here. I'll jump in the design as well and try to change it a bit. Here, I used the, this plugin here by the way. I used it to create this frame. <laughs> At first I drew a rectangle and then I wanted to put a smiley face inside. And then I just created it easily with the plugin. It was super simple. <laughs> I'm already finding it useful. Alright, gonna group this and this. Maybe Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, let's add some corners here. Could be interesting. 20. Wait, clip content turn off. Yep. Like so. Four wide. Mm hmm. Oh, it should be in the center, I think. And when it's in the center, or when it's outside? Oops, outside. No, I think it doesn't work this way. Okay, we'll just leave it like this. Yeah, I can add this corners here. Oops. Yeah, like so. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, this is a bit better, easier to understand. Maybe I can also add another frame to the smiley face. For instance, I'll just remove the face here. My computer is lagging a little bit. I don't know why. Should be fine, but it just doesn't wanna work. Yeah, like so. Maybe... Ooh, what was that? Mm-hmm. So this might work. <laughs> we can create a GIF animation, right? I actually don't really want a GIF animation, but we can try. I think it could work as well. <laughs> uh, really, thank you for jumping in and helping me design this. This is really cool. I'll copy it again and see maybe I'll do something else here. Oh, and also I need to export the logo. Where is it? Export function. 120, oops, 128 wide. Export logo to plugins. And where is he? Where is this rectangle to frame? Cool. We have a logo. Now I don't want this frame here. 
I'll just move it, but it has constraints, so I'll save it for later, maybe. I am not sure. Yeah, I think it works. I don't need to add this to the frame. But also, what what is Alex working on here? Rectangle, some fancy stuff. <laughs> wow. Is this an animation? looks really cool we didn't even need uh, the docs today I opened them specifically because I forgot to open them yesterday <laughs> and now we didn't really need them Alex, could you tell me what you're trying to make here? Because I'm I'm really not getting it. I see a rectangle. Is it an animation? Like how it turns into frame? First we have a rectangle, then there is this icon appearing out of nowhere. And then everything is moving slightly. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's really an animation. I think you are using uh, Giphy Canvas plugin, right? To create a GIF from that. I actually made a service for that. Figma to GIF. <laughs> but it doesn't work uh, very well. I want to try it just for fun where is Figma? yeah run the prototype oh I see you created the prototype let's change the zoom option here oh I see that's fun <laughs> oh I like that I thought you were going to make uh, a GIF with frames, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, so I'll need to record it somehow, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I think uh, I will record. I will record it after the stream, and for now, I will just use this thumbnail here as a placeholder I'll record the GIF after the stream and just add it to the plugin later I really like this GIF <laughs> I will use it definitely I just need a higher uh, resolution to record it and I can do it on the stream right now so yeah I will do it later for now I will just export this thumbnail temporarily and save it and we're gonna publish a plugin publish new release it's actually a first release <laughs> I can no wrong plugin where is the right plugin rectangle to frame yes logo here it's a bit blurry not sure what happened to it oh yeah I know what happened to it 
24 is not uh, doesn't work well with the 128 and other things so let's remove some comments here Too long didn't read. <laughs> Tiny plugin for Figma. Plugin that allows you to turn objects, oh, turn rectangles into frames to save some time no just a tiny plugin yeah so I'll upload the cover art here yeah I see prototype let's run the prototype again just to see how cool it is <laughs> oh wow that's fancy <laughs> rectangle to frame I like this yeah thank you Alex for the, your contribution I will also use the thumb thumbnail here, animated one, and then I will also add you to credits here that you created the thumbnail because it's really awesome. Tiny plugins tag utility rectangle frame. Yeah, it's a very nice animation. I will copy my contact. Uh, uh, you will not see my screen right now, I think. It's fine. I know about that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fine. It's okay. Rectangle to frame. Beautiful. A tiny plugin that allows you to turn rectangles into frames. How it works. Some Sometimes you want to create a rectangle as a background for... Yeah, I'll, I'll add some emoji here. Something like this. How it works. Yes. Now it's displayed here. I like this. <laughs> it's a very simple tiny plugin. Rectangle frame... Uh, Anything else? I don't think I we, we need any other tags here. And are we ready to hit publish? I'll use Grammarly just to check this text because I wrote it not very good, I think. Oh, it's still not working. Glitches down probably. It's fine. <laughs> So what did I want to use? Grammarly, of course. Mm. I want every site to load like glitch. Why wasn't it possible? Let's paste some text here. I see. Punctuation. You don't like this? Huh. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like this. To easily fix this mistake. This plugin allows you to easily fix this mistake. Hmm. To fix this mistake easily, maybe. Easy. 
No. Oh, let's check what it. To air human to eat it. What? Okay, easy. Change the word. What did I want to? It wants me to change it to easily, but it also doesn't like the word easily. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just add this and copy it here. Great work we did on the last two live streams. I'm really happy that we created this whole thing. This thumbnail, this icon, this animated thumbnail even. And then the plugin itself, of course, it's working great. It allows you to turn rectangles into frames. Something I use quite often, actually. So I'll be an avid user of this plugin, definitely. <laughs> Tiny plugins. Awesome. I'll hit publish right now. Ooh, it's loading. Yay! It was submitted for review. Plugin URL. I'll copy it and paste it to the video description. Thank you all for coming to the stream. I think that's all we wanted to do today. <laughs> to finish the plugin and publish it. And we did it. Congrats! I'll paste the link in the video description. I will also paste the link to the stream in the plugin description. And I will change the thumbnail to the one Alex suggested. It's a really nice animation. Yeah, that's it. Thank you all for coming to this little stream. <laughs> I hope you learned something. We did quite a good job here. Improved some code and added this little rename method and added the method to rename to change rectangles to frames when all of them are rectangles. So yeah, that's great. Thank you for joining me and bye. See you in the next one.